So many discussions of ships in science fiction fall into the same tired debates. Who goes faster, the Millennium Falcon or the USS Enterprise? How big of a planet will the Death Star blow up and how much would that ship cost anyway? This video takes things a step further. We'll talk about the most creative ships of science fiction and yes, you'll see some familiar names in here, but we hope there will at least be a couple of surprises. In case we miss out some of the spaceships that can top this list, do feel free to share them in the comment section below. Enjoy! Up first at number 10 is Lex's ship. First appeared in Lex 1997, Lex is a 10-kilometer long bioship that despite its amazing technology and size, somehow still manages to look like a gigantic wingless dragonfly, but Lex is a massive vessel. Haven't heard of Lex? Neither had I until I started doing research on the largest ships in sci-fi. This may be because Lex only appeared in Great Britain and Canada and never gained as much popularity as other sci-fi shows of its time. Nonetheless, Lex is a very lengthy ship with a very interesting shape. Number 9 is Executor Class Star Destroyer Clocking in at 19 kilometers, this ship appeared in Star Wars 5 and it dwarfs a typical Star Destroyer or Rebel Star ship and with turbo lasers and laser cannons mounted all across the hull, it is unmatched in strength as well. The term Super Star Destroyer is actually used loosely throughout the Star Wars saga and it actually refers to a large selection of vessels, all of different classes, which are all around 19 km in length. The Executor class, however, is the longest and most powerful of them all. Number 8 is City Destroyer At number 8 comes an alien ship from Independence Day franchise. It is 24 km across ship that looks like a frisbee. When Independence Day came out in 1996, it shattered the sky scale for science fiction with its massive alien vessels. The aliens were attempting to rid of all life on Earth to harvest its resources to sustain their ships. However, it would seem that through all of their advances in technology and science, these aliens couldn't crack the code to computer programming. All it took was one good 20th century virus and the whole fleet of city destroyers were brought down. Earth wins the end. Number 7 is Vorlon Planet Killer First appeared in Babylon 5, Vorlon is a planet destroyer. Tipping the scales at 4-5 km in length, the planet Killer is truly an enormous vessel. Through all of humanity's efforts in ridding of the Verlon threat, only one of these gigantic vessels was ever destroyed. The others escaped into hyperspace. Driving your car at 100 km per hour, it would still take you 27 minutes to get from one end of the ship to the other. Now imagine that you work at the stern and communications go out and you need to tell the captain something. Number 6 is Whale Probe what happens when by the 23rd century all whales have gone extinct and massive metallic cylinder is emitting a dangerous energy field threatening the inhabitants of Earth demanding to speak to the deceased species? Time travel, transparent aluminium and nuclear vessels, that's what. The whale probe can be seen in Star Trek IV, the voyage home dwarfing a Federation star base in the foreground as, in the foreground as it threatens to eliminate Earth's population unless it can speak to the humpback whale. Naturally, Kirk and his crew travel through time to retrieve two whales from the past in order to drive the probe away. But why whales? Well, that's Star Trek for you. Number 5 is the V'ger ship. This simply huge spacecraft is renowned as the single largest ship in Star Trek. At nearly 100 km in length, the Enterprise crew could not have stood a chance had they not found what it was the massive ship was looking for. So what was it looking for? Its creator, of course. So then what is V'ger? It's in the name, but I'll leave that to you if you want to find out. Mystery aside, this ship marked a very important milestone in digital graphics for movies in the late 70s and early 80s. Number 4 is Voth Fortress The Voth Fortress ship was a massive starship type in service to the Voth in the early 25th century. It was the primary source of ground troops in the battle zone of the Dyson Sphere and the Allies were in this vessel had entered the Sphere. With a length of 134.5 km, the Fortress ship was by far the most massive starship encountered by the Allies in the early 25th century. Its interior was large enough to house a fleet of starships and it carried Citadel-class dreadnoughts, Bulwark-class battleships, Bastion-class cruisers and Palisade-class frigates. The interior was large enough to fit a Borg cube inside. Number 3 is Death Star there's no moon indeed, and though Obi-Wan later refers to the immense vessel as a space station, it is indeed mobile and has the ability to travel from planet to planet even if it is only to destroy them. 
The Death Star was initially constructed by the Empire when the Jedi first wiped out to solidify their tyranny throughout the galaxy. However, it was destroyed by pesky Luke Skywalker and his ability to use the Force. But why is there a tube that leads straight to the main power generator and when shot down destroys the entire station, one will never know. But one thing that is for certain is the Death Star truly is a monster of a spacecraft, station or otherwise. Number 2 is Alien Mothership what could possibly be larger than a small moon? How about a medium-sized moon that is basically the size of the mothership of the alien species that attacks Earth in the film Independence Day 1996? This colossal vessel is nearly the diameter of Ceres, the largest asteroid in the solar system, which, by the way, has enough gravity to pull itself into a sphere. If the mothership were real and were composed of, say, steel, it would yield a similar gravity and mass to the asteroid. If hollowed out, this immense space-faring vessel could fit 30 Death Stars within its gaping hole. Holy crap, they don't call it the mothership for nothing. Number 1 is Harvester Mothership Appeared in Independence Day Resurgence, this mothership moves at a steady space and is surprisingly fast for its size. It is mounted with powerful energy cannons that can be arced into multiple beams that are able to shoot able to shoot multiple targets simultaneously. Like the other alien ships, the mothership is equipped with a deflector shield that could withstand the ESD moon base's energy cannon. The mothership harvests planets by latching on the surface with massive landing struts and from its center a direct beam of plasma is drilled into the planet's core which sucks magma into the vessel. The mothership resembles a massive disk similar to the City Destroyer. Size-wise, it is much larger than the colony mothership that attacked Earth in 1996 and covered an area roughly the size of Earth's moon's surface. And that's all for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.